Hey everyone, it's Selena here. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to create text that looks like an image. In this example, I'm going to be using an apple. So I just have a text line inserted here, but I'm going to go ahead and go up to Insert Images, and I'm going to find an apple. And I'm going to filter this search by selecting the little cone here to filter. And I'm going to choose Subscription so that I can only see the apples that are within the subscription or the subscribed images. So I'm going to choose a couple of them. Let's choose that one and this one. And just put these over to the side. And this font here is not a Design Space or Cricut font. It's a font that I got from Defont.com. And I just looked for a thick font and I did everything in caps. So this one is called Chunk 5X, if you wanted to use that. But what I'm going to do is bring this text line to the front so that we could see it in front of the uh, apples here. But these apples that I chose have several layers, and I only need the apple and the leaf. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work with this one first. I'm going to ungroup it, or actually, let's look at this one. This one has two layers. So what I want to do, if you, if you see on the second layer, it's not only the leaf, it's the entire apple. But I only want the top part. I don't want the bottom part of the apple in the green layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, it's, it's still grouped together, but I'm just going to slice it. When you slice images, you got to make sure that you're working with one layer images. So the top, this one is one layer, and this one is one layer, so I can slice them, even without having to ungroup them. Okay, and for some reason this apple is off a little bit because it, le it left the excess sides, like this is a, you can delete this, and I can delete this, but there's this little piece right here. You can just slice the bottom part of it off if you wanted to, just insert a circle or a square to slice it off and I'm just gonna un I'm gonna use hide contour and just get rid of this little piece here and that is now gone okay and I'm gonna duplicate this text line so that I can show you another example but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unlock this text line so that I can distort the shape of it to fit well within this shape. This is the easy way to just create a text line out of this shape. So what I'm going to do is go over to my edit panel. I'm going to use letter spacing and I'm going to just click several times on the down arrow so that we can scoot these letters together and then now I can distort it or stretch it out a little bit more. And when you feel that that looks about right, okay, I'm going to select the two, go over to my layers panel, and slice. Okay, so this is the part that we want, this is the part we don't want, so I'm just going to get rid of that. Okay, so that was the easy way of doing it. They're both easy, but that was, uh, didn't really take much to do that. So now with this one, this one has four layers going on. So I'm going to ungroup. And I don't want this top part because it has that little shine there, which isn't going to work well with my slice. I just want a solid image like that. But here I also, I want this leaf here. So let's undo that step. I'm going to move the stem out of the way, and I'm going to select these two and slice those. And get rid of that one. And we'll just get rid of this too. Alright, so same thing with this one. I'm bring this over to the front. I'm going to unlock it and just kind of mess with the shape. But see, on this apple, this arch here is a little bit higher than this one 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ungroup these letters and I just want to kind of mess with this manually and kind of get it to fit within the shape. I'm going to unlock each letter and just kind of make it fit within this apple. So I'm going to stretch this out. Okay, once you think that it looks about how you want it to look, now that I ungrouped these letters, they're all separate layers. And in order for me to slice this out of the apple, it needs to be one layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down my shift key, and as I'm holding my shift key, I'm going to select each letter, and it's just selecting all of them at the same time. And once they're all selected, I'm going to weld them so that I can make it one layer. Now that it's one layer, I'm going to move this over and I'm going to choose the two and slice. Okay. I'm not too sure how I like this one. I could have probably made it fit a little bit better so that it wasn't so jagged. But I mean, you can still get the idea that it looks like an apple. Just not as clean as this one. But it's just up to however you, you know, the image that you're choosing, the shape of it, and how you mess with the letters to get them to fit within that shape. And that's how you can get a text line to look like the shape of an image just by slicing and welding. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. If you learned anything new, please give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video.